we have the Kelowna Rockets and the Richmond Ravens hitting the ice here this morning at the Di Castlegar and District Community Complex. Getting set, to one team will finish their tournament without a chance for a gold medal. They would play for bronze, but one team here this morning is gonna punch their ticket into that gold medal game and a chance for victory here at the championships. We'll take a quick look at the two teams that we have in the game this morning. First off, we'll start with the Kelowna Rockets. They played in Pool A. They finished uh, top of the table in Pool A uh, with a 2-0-1 record. The only tie they had was against the Cranbrook Bucks, and that was a 2-2 tie. Other than that, they won 9-0 against the Misfits, and they beat the Surrey Falcons 3-1 yesterday. They are led by Jesse Humorous. Five goals, six assists for 11 points in three games for Jesse Humorous. Madison Millership, three goals. And Taylor Cirrus picked up a goal as well for the top points getters here for the Kelowna Rockets as they look for their opportunity here to head to the championship game later this evening. For the Richmond Ravens, a little bit more difficult road, let's call it. As they played in Pool B, played four games, and they were all pretty close other than one. They started off the tournament with a 4-3 victory over the Oceanside Impact. Then they dropped one against the Northeast Predators who finished first in Pool B. Then they beat the Castlegar-based uh, West Kootenai Wildcats 5 to nothing. And then yesterday, their last game, they beat the Williams Lake Timberwolves in a 6-4 game that was a lot closer than the score dictated as that was a good back and forth game. For them, they were led by Zinnia Lin with two goals, four assists through four games. Hannah Nishi, three goals, two assists through four games. Quinn Sear also four goals for five points. And Danielle Kay, so spread the scoring around a little bit more did the Ravens through their four games. So we'll see if that plays into it here as the Ravens will take on the number one ranked team out of Pool A in the Kelowna Rockets in semifinal action number one here this morning. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. We've got about, we've got a good good audience already across the networks here. We are, are on YouTube, we are on Facebook. We are also twi uh, on uh, Twitter or X, whichever you want to call it. Um, my suggestion, the most comfortable one would probably be on YouTube. Grab a seat on the couch, fire it up on the smart TV make things easy for yourself and enjoy what should be a great first semifinal game. Immediately following this game, we will have the second semifinal game, which would be the Predators versus the Surrey Falcons, which will also line up to be a great game. Four really talented competitive teams here set to go in two semifinal games, looking for that berth in the gold medal game later this evening. Refs are ready, players are ready, pucks down, and we got a loud boister, boisterous crowd here for eight in the morning. And the first possession here is gonna be down in the Kelowna zone as the Ravens are just gonna dump that one right back in and back for it now is Barrett. Barrett plays that one for Humorous. She'll try to skate it out of her own zone and gets out to center. She'll play it into the Ravens zone and look to keep it down the wall. There's Jesse Humorous trying to make it to the front of that. Coverly, she can't get that to, onto the net. Plays it in behind the goal. Redden in there on the forecheck. Puck comes to the front. Nobody there except for a Raven. And they're going to skate it away now as Akazuki just below us here. Puck, ooh, almost come up and hit the camera. That would have been a first for the weekend. And now Humorous tries to knock that down with her hand. She does. She'll play it in. Rockets will go for the first change here of the game. Ravens with a chance to play it up, and they will to Akazuki here below us. She'll try to chip that one in, but the Rockets off the bench, able to come over and shut that one down. A little bit of a possession game here at center. Millership will play it in for Mellis. Mellis on the backhand there, looking to play it out front. Three Rockets below the line as Jones, Jones joins them. Surhouse plays that one down. Surhouse, sorry, plays that one down below the line, and the Ravens able to get it and skate it down through center. Out over the red line here is Zinnia Lynn. She'll dump it in and chase after it. Rockets get there first. 
Puck played to the blue paint, but the Rockets able to get that one as in goal for the Rockets, Grace Jansen able to get the paddle down and stop that one from being dangerous, and the Rockets clear it down the ice now. In the goal to my right for the Ravens is Charlie Schuler. As she gets the start here this morning, that puck blockered into the corner. Piva now, she'll play it back to the point. Ravens keep it in. They did a phenomenal job of that in the game we watched and called yesterday, both games we called actually with the Ravens. Very strong at keeping the puck in, maintaining offensive zone pressure. Here come the Rockets though. Jesse Humorous logs a ton of ice time. She'll come across the top of the slot, look to play it out front as Piva was there waiting for it. Humorous couldn't get it. Now it comes back. Daniel, she'll try to get a shot. Piva on the backhand puts that one wide. Now Daniel will try to keep it in on the half wall. Sneaks past her and the Ravens are gonna get that one out. And I can't, there it is rolling. Not quite enough for icing and back for it now are the Rockets. Both teams feeling each other out here a little bit. Ravens try to dump that one in. They'll chase after it now. Into the corner goes Hernandez. She doesn't get to it, but the puck up the wall and three Rockets there trying to keep it there. Now Humorous once again with it now. She'll take a look to the near side. That one's picked off there by uh, Lenahan. That shot's on and a kick save. Humorous again now behind the goal. Plays it forward. Rockets can't get it out. Kept in once again. This time Sear. One of the Sear sisters out here, Adelise and Quinn. On the backhand, played to the front, kicked away by Diamond. And now the Rockets again to the blue line. This time it'll skip past Sear and it'll go down the ice. Schuler will leave it there. Changes for the Rockets. Up quickly here to Akazuki. She can't take it cleanly. And the Rockets take it back the other way as Coverly dumps it in. Redden in on it quickly. Mellis on the other side of the net, can't get to it. And the Ravens will get it out to center. Akazuki over the blue line. She's gonna shoot, save there by Jansen. That one goes into the corner. And now the Ravens trying to work their way out of the corner. In behind the net. Played out in front, save there, kick to the corner again by Jansen. As the Ravens doing a good job getting shots on goal, up to four shots on goal already here according to the scorekeeper. Mellis can't get that one deep. It'll just get in over the blue line and the Ravens now. will skate it out of their zone. Here comes Burns. She'll get over the blue line. Fire that one in up high. Jansen takes it off the shoulder and it goes into the corner again. Now Millership. She's gonna swing behind the net. Four check there well by the Ravens and there's that multiple layers of players on the four check keeping that puck in. And once again, the Ravens able to put puck towards the front of the net as that shot from Lundy goes wide. Rockets try to go high off the glass, now a little tip to the middle and it's still kept in the zone by the Ravens. Lundy dump, dumps that into the corner, sends the Rockets back for it. They'll try once again. Barrett, her pass knocked down, now they'll play it forward and Humorous with it now. She'll skate it out over to center, right away, check there in front of the Ravens bench, she's gonna turn, fire that in and send Millership in for it. Millership battling in the corner there, trying to kick it out. Puck comes loose. Ravens will get it to the point. Miles, long shot. That one's knocked down by the Ravens. And they'll play it back to the point again. That one's off of Shingart, kept in for a moment. The Ravens are now going to get it out. And skating onto it now is Kay. Kay down the wing. She's going to take a shot. Save there by Jansen. And she's going to hold on as we just pass the five minute mark here of the first period. 14.32 to go. Still no score, and the Rockets still looking to put their first shot on net as the Ravens out of the gate. Six shots on goal already here to lead the way in the first period. First period brought to you by Castle Garakia. Rockets now win that puck back. Ravens though come out, played out in front of the net. Swing and a miss there by Akazuki. Shot from the point goes wide as Ridgewell found that and tried to put it on net. Redden, under pressure. Again, comes out the side of the net, right through the middle of the crease. Now Akazuki in tight, shoots. That one goes wide, rolls back off the side of the net. Again, teams have to be careful. Very lively boards here in the Castlegar complex. That puck will bounce off that back dasher board quite easily, right back out in front of the net. The Ravens again, sealing that blue line, keeping it in. Backhanded towards the net there by Hernandez. 
And now Miles will try the left wing. They'll get it to center. Ravens stop them there for the moment. Following up is Miles. Pucks played forward towards the Rockets' blue line just below us. Coverly's just going to turn and backhand that into the uh, Ravens' zone. And quickly they're going to play it forward for Lenahan. Lenahan leaves it there in front of her bench. Picked up now by Sanga. Sanga off the boards and down as the Ravens complete a line change. And now Miles tries to play that one through at center. And back comes Nishi. Nishi, shot, glove save there by Jansen up high, and she'll hold on to that for another whistle as the Ravens continue to turn pucks over in the neutral zone and create offensive opportunities here against the Rockets. Thirteen ten to go here in the first period. Semi-final number one. Face-offs won by Umers. Back in the corner. She'll go back and get it herself. Now she'll survey. Lynn on the forecheck there. She plays it up the wall to Piva. She'll get a stick to it. Just out. Nishi tried to keep that one in with a foot. A little soccer kick there and took a bit of a tumble. But the Ravens will get it back through the neutral zone and down the ice. Official says no icing, so back go the Rockets to pick it up. Barrett off a of foot, gets it out to center though, and the Ravens will regroup here at center. Burns plays that one forward, looking for Nishi. Can't find it. Back for it though is Zinnia Lynn. Lynn plays that one forward quickly. In with it is Lundy. Her shot wide of the net. Rockets trying to get to it in the corner. Now they'll scoop it in and around the net as Daniel gets a stick to it. Ravens seal the right the left wing there and keep it in again. And one more time, this time they'll rip it around the boards. I'll have to be careful because it's going to come all the way to the other side. And she's not going to get there in time to keep it in. So the Ravens cleared the zone themselves there as that puck ripped around the dasher board. Now they'll play it in. No icing there as Barrett got a touch to it. And as I mentioned, as we saw yesterday, the Ravens very difficult to make plays through the neutral zone. Really clog it up well, keep that puck. In the zone, and there it is again. Kay finds it, dumps it in, take, takes the opportunity to change. Now Akazuki, shooting position there, gets knocked down. Now she has a rocket laying on her back. She'll give her a little tap for her troubles. And now the Rockets to the blue line, and this time they will get it out on the first attempt. They'll turn it over there, though, to Lenahan. And right away, da uh, da David will dump that one in for Rockets to chase after. Lenahan down the wall. Gets some help there by Broderick, and it's in behind the Rockets' goal. Turnover just at the side of the net there was Danger. Akazuki now looking for it on the forecheck. Umers will find it on the left wing half wall. She'll play it to the blue line, kept in there by David. Backhand in it in once again in behind the goal. And Cirrus now will try the right wing side. Millership in her feet. Lynn's there, trying to dig it out of the pile. That one. Looked like it came out, played back in. They're going to let play go as that came out to the neutral zone anyway. And Cirrus now. She'll dump it in down the right wing and back go the Ravens now in their own zone. Quickly though up and up to Nishi and they're out of their zone just like that and over the red line. Nishi dumping and chasing that. It'll go around the boards to the right wing corner. In quickly there to seal off the wall are the Ravens. And now the Rockets will be chased out the other side. Turned that one over, shot by Lynn, saved by Jansen, rebounds in the paint, puck gets kicked towards the corner to Redden now for the Rockets. Zinnia Lynn has got a couple of goals to open the scoring here in this tournament. I know of at least two games where she was the first goal scorer for the Ravens, getting them on the board. Now Nishi, Nishi, her shot hits the leg, puck is in the high slot there, and the Rockets able to find it and clear it, and they'll skate it away. Down the right wing side goes Redden. Redden cuts to the middle of the ice. Now she'll get a shot. That one's kicked to the side by Schuler as that'll be the first shot on goal for the Rockets. Rockets now looking to turn it over at center, try to start generating some office. offense here. Coverly dumps that one in. She'll change. Over in the far corner is Jacobson. She can't get the puck. Now the Ravens get it to center. Still with it. Have to be careful there. Rockets almost turn. Now they will. Jacobson trying to get away, but a nice play there by Ridgewell to keep that one from becoming an odd rush heading into the Ravens zone. Now Jacobson tries to get it deep, but stopped there by Sanga. She'll kick it out of the zone, but put right back in now by Diamond. Right wing side, Humers 
Back into the play. She can't stop it there along the wall. Pivot comes in to help out. Ravens get it towards the blue line. Kay's in there digging for it. She's going to come in and push the pile out of the way, but the Rockets are going to come in and steal it out. Humorous tried to toe drag that through, and that comes out to center, and the Rockets are going to have to check up. Ravens quickly get that to center, but the forward didn't see it coming as Lundy was looking for a change. And now it's played in. Sanga, careful there. The Rockets looking for a turnover in the Ravens' zone. Millership will find it in the corner. Knocked off her, her stick. She'll turn and try to dig it back out of the corner. Puck's played up the wall. Humorous now with it. She'll go off the wall and back to the point for Daniel. Daniel shot, looking for a tip. Goes wide into the far corner. Chipped out there nicely by Lenahan, and that'll force the Rockets to clear the zone and try to come back in again. Ravens get a couple of changes to the defense. That puck slid in from the neutral zone by Humorous right on to Schuler, and Charlie Schuler is going to hold on to that for a draw with 8.12 to go as this period has been back and forth here. Good pace as we expect between two of the top teams here in the tournament. Face off to the right of Schuler. Ravens get the draw. They'll go hard around the wall. Near side trying to chip that one out was, uh, sorry, Akazuki. She couldn't get a stick to it and it's back into the far corner there. Ravens player gets tripped down. Rockets trying to dig it out now. They'll play it around to the point. Cirrus, she'll play it back into the corner. Looking for Redden to make a play. Now Redden will try to get all the way back to Miles. She does, but all she can do is put a backhander towards the front of the net and away comes the captain here for the Ravens. Down the wall. Fires Adelie Sear. She'll chase after it into the corner. It's in the feet. She's getting some help coming in behind now. Can't get the puck. Goes to the left wing half wall there. Kept in nicely again by the Ravens. Now in behind the net. I believe that's Quinn Sear now out there as well. Puck comes to her and she can't get it as her stick was tied up. Rockets with a chance to clear. They'll get it to the neutral zone and they'll push it down the ice. And that will go for icing, and that faceoff will come back into the Rockets' zone as they continue to struggle to make clean plays coming out of their zone. And this Ravens group doing a great job of clogging the neutral zone, making things as difficult as possible. 7.09 to go here in the first period, semifinal number one. Looking for our opening goal here. Off the draw. Nishi tries to push that through the pile to the front of the net, ends up in the corner. Daniel, she'll fire it around out of the reach of her defensive partner there in Diamond. So the Ravens will put it in again behind the goal. Nishi looking for it, down from the point jumps Broderick. Covering the point for her though is Lynn. She'll play it down the wall as they'll change spots back. Rockets to the line, not out, Ravens keep it in. Broderick trying to find a shooting position, feeds that one off for Quinn. And she puts it up over the top of the net. Now Quinn again, that tip just goes wide over the blocker side as Quinn Sear got a piece of that shot. And now the Rockets again get it to the blue line. Not out, Nishi sends them back for it again. Ravens looking to change personnel. Three of them will swap. Five on two for the moment. Rockets taking their time. And now they'll have to try to skate it out through all five as the Ravens get back into position. Daniel dumps that one into the corner. Jones after it first for the Rockets. Sanga will find it for the Ravens, and she'll quick up there to Akazuki. Akazuki trying to get the feet moving now. She'll skate it in over the blue line. Her shot going high over the top of the net. In for it now, Lenahan. She'll play it across in front of the crease. No one can get a stick to that. Down from the point. Big hit there, actually. Millership's going to get away with a bit of body contact there. As the ref shakes his head, he wants them to play this out. Akazuki dumps that one back in. Diamond back for it. Ravens again, change personnel. Dangerous play there by Diamond. She'll make her way to Piva here on the near wall. And the Ravens send them right back. Diamond now in the Zamboni corner takes a look. Rolling puck off a stick, goes towards the front of the net. Barrett's there though. Puck played out to the neutral zone. Ravens put that one back in, that one right on goal, and Jansen has to make another save. Nine shots on goal credited now for the Ravens in here so far through the first period. Five minutes left to go here in the opening frame. Puck stumped in and around the net. 
Rockets are back for it. Hard pass up for Piva. She'll touch pass that there for Humorous. Humorous gets as far as the blue line, but no farther. Back out to center. And the Rockets just looking to get that one into the zone. Now Kay trying to knock that puck down. High stick is waved off. The Rockets put it in deep. Back for it now is Adelie Sear. She'll skate it out. Played that one just a little too far for herself, but she'll find it in the neutral zone here. And push that one into the Rocket zone. Lots of quick changes here for the Ravens, keeping fresh feet on the, the ice. They're happy just to dump that one in and change up. That will be an icing call as the hand goes in the air. 4.09 to go here in the period. And an icing call coming up against the Ravens. And now an opportunity here for the Rockets to start in the Ravens zone. As they've had difficulty getting in and getting possession. Here's an opportunity to win a faceoff and be set up. Mellis will try to win that draw for the Rockets. Scrambled, kicked into the corner by Lynn, but first to it's Redden. Redden gets that puck knocked off her stick. Ravens are going to come around the wall. Cirrus trying to seal off the right point. She does. Plays it down the half wall. Lynn back into the in her own corner. Now Broderick for, with it. Broderick plays it around. Redden's going to intercept. She tried to go back to the point. Now it'll come back for Cirrus. Cirrus took that on the backhand but kind of misplayed it. And now the Ravens with a chance. Nishi gets that tipped off her stick, but Lynn follows it up. Now Nishi with it. Her shot kicked away. Loose puck. Another save by Jansen on a... In close, try there by Sear, as Quinn Sear was in tight. Now back for Broderick. Her shot hits a stick, get up into the netting, and we'll get a whistle with 3.27 to go, and a close call there by the Ravens, as Quinn Sear had an opportunity on that rebound that was kicked out by Jansen. As I mentioned, 3.27 to go here, first period. Face off now in the Rocket zone. Face off win, they'll get it to the blue line and this time they'll get it out. Ridgewell couldn't keep it in, she'll chase back for it. Getting to it first is Sanga, watch there by Millership. Daniel, she'll get in on the four check as well as Humorous will cover the point for her. But here come the Ravens, they'll get it out. Cross ice there looking for Lenahan. She gets a piece of it, but not enough to settle it. Now on the wall, off the wall, Akazuki. Her shot wide to the, of the net, and the Rockets will go fired around the boards. It'll come out the right wing. No icing on that one. Is back for it now is Senga. Senga takes her time, plays that one up for Akazuki. Takes a funny bounce, though. Jones has it at the blue line. Had to wait for the rest of the Rockets to clear the zone. Plays it back for Daniel. Daniel forward for Humorous. She'll play it now for Jones, and she'll chip it in. They'll have to chase after that one. Back for it first is Senga. She'll play it around, far wall, and plays catch there with the defense. Can't quite see who that was on that far corner, but now it'll be played forward. Armor's in the air, but not enough for icing. Diamond has to be careful as she's watched closely there by Lundy. Lundy gets it back, shot there over the top by Jeske. Jeske trying to get that, keep it in on the corner. Kept in nicely there by Sear. And now the Rockets with two to go will skate it out of their zone. Out of their own end is Miles. She'll fire it in off the defender and into the corner. Miles will follow it up, trying to get there first. Can't do it. Ravens all the way back to the point. Kept in just barely by Diamond. She can just get it down the wall. Piva will put it into the corner. Miles is battling there in front, trying to find position in front of the net, waiting for a shot. Diamond will take one. Tip up high. That one puts it into the corner, though. 140 to go here in the period. Ravens will wrap that one around. Sear with it in the far corner. In to help out is Lundy. She'll play it back towards the net. Just pushed aside there by Schuler. And now that one gets played out to the point. We're going to get our first penalty call. As it's going to be humorous, it looks like, getting called for the body checking here. As there was a hit beside the net there. And the Ravens going to get their first chance here on the power play. As taking a seat now will be humorous for body contact or body checking and a power play opportunity for the Ravens.
Ravens on the power play with the Rockets with a chance there as they get down the wing and try to play that across in front of the net. And now the Ravens will try to set it up. Senga slowly there around the four check by the Rockets and she'll skate it all the way through the zone and she's given lots of room. Now she'll turn around, play it back to the point and to the near side now. Akazuki, her shot up high, rebounds loose and it's cleared away to the blue line and that will not get out as back forward is Nishi. Nishi, nice play, finds the open player in front. There is, sorry, that was Hernandez trying to put one on. She'll get a second rebound, pucks to the side of the blue paint. It slides it way, its way through feet right in onto Jansen and she's able to find it and hold on as the Ravens on the power play here getting opportunities. 35.4 seconds to go here in the power play for the Ravens. Well, actually, a minute 11 left in the power play, 35-4 left in the period, which if they don't score, the power play will carry over, of course. Zinnia Lin comes in for the draw. Trying to win that back. Ravens player comes in to get it, tries to play it back to the point, but she's going to miss David, and that's going to come all the way back to the center line. Ravens trying to push this one forward. Sear plays it up for Nishi. Nishi. Akazuki on the backhand, couldn't take it. She'll play it back to the point for David. Her long shot, that's well wide. Puck bounces off the back wall though, trying to come out the short side, or the far side I should say, from our vantage point. Rockets, back to the point, six seconds left. Sear, long shot, takes a re deflection, rebound was there and that's gonna end the period as a last second shot there by Adelie Sear hit a body in front and it was loose there beside the net for a moment. But at the end of 20 minutes and a quick period there as we had some good back and forth play, sees no score here in the semifinal number one between the Kelowna Rockets and the Richmond Ravens. Ravens out shooting the Rockets 13 to two there in that first frame. So the coaching staff for the Rockets will have to sit this group down and come up with a new way to work their way through the neutral zone and try to generate some offensive zone time and generate some shots on net for Schuler as she has not been busy so far here in this game. We're gonna take a short break. The clock on the screen there will count down to the start of the second period. You're watching U15 championship, female championship hockey here from Castlegar, semifinal number one on championship Sunday on the Around the Rink Network. My name's Rob Squires. We'll be back for the call of the second period in about 14 minutes.
right, we'll bring you once again inside Castle Garden District Community Complex. As the Kelowna Rockets and the Richmond Ravens ready for puck drop here on period number two. We're still waiting for our first goal score. We still have a power play here for the Ravens. 36 seconds left on the power play for them. As Jesse Umer sits to our left here in the penalty box, serving the remainder of her body checking penalty. And the Ravens are going to start from back in their own end now as Sear tries to play that one up. Redden on the four check. She'll go down, trying to turn that one over. But here come the Ravens now. Zinnia Lin plays that one forward for Nishi to skate on to. Into the corner. Lin with 10 seconds left on the power play here. A few moments for Sear now to get a shot on goal. Long shot looking for a stick. Seen all the way through there by Jansen, and she'll play that one to the corner. The Rockets will get to it. They'll put it down the ice, and that's going to do the power play as Humorous right out of the box and chasing that puck right down into the play in on Sear quickly. Puck up the wall for Nishi. She's going to be able to skate with it here. Settles it down through the neutral zone and out over the blue line. Nishi in behind the net. Tried to stop up. Stopped there by Barrett. Puck comes out now to the center ice area. Sanga chips that one past the check and now dumped in by Nishi. She's going to go for a change. The Rockets right back into their own zone now. Barrett. She'll play that one up out of the reach, I think, there of Jones, and that will go for icing, and we're going to get our first whistle a little quicker here this time. Just a minute 15, or 16, sorry, into the first or second period. It's all right. I'll get it sorted out here. It's another early morning. Face off now to our right. One back, long shot from the point. That one up high and caught right in the bread basket there by Kelowna Rockets netminder Grace Jansen. As she was able to see that shot from Bridgewell all the way from the point. Ravens will win it again. Sanga, this time we'll just put it in and around the wall. Into the corner there, Lenahan trying to play that one out front. Sears there trying to play that off the side of the net. Looks like it bounced up on the back of the netting, and they'll blow that one down. We'll get a face off here again as things are a little slower to start this period. And then we head at the start of the first period, which seemed to fly by. But good end to end hockey will do that. The periods will seem very short. Ravens win that draw to the wall. Rockets, though, try to push it out. Kept in there. Now, an opportunity here, reaching for it was Hernandez. She'll leave it for Sear. Sear shot, hits a body. Hernandez with the rebound in front. Now one hit a leg and goes to the corner now. Miles around the wall, looking for Jones to chip that one out. They'll get it to the line, not out. Second attempt does, and that one will skip by. Humorous breaks through. Humorous has Miller ship going to the front of the net. There's a shot and a save with no rebound by Schuler. as that was the best opportunity so far for the Rockets as Jesse Humorous down the left wing. Gets a good shot on goal. Was hoping to maybe get a shot and a rebound to come out to Millership on the other side. But Schuler was having none of it and just held on to that puck. Mellis now up against Lynn. Mellis will get that puck. She'll play it back for Diamond. Diamond checked quickly there by the Ravens. Can't get it in deep. Now Jacobson tries to turn onto the forehand to get a shot there. Little scrambly play there, and Mellis is going to find that puck and wrap it around the boards for Jacobson to chase after. She doesn't get there in time as the Ravens go back and forth. Pivoto will intercept, try to go right across in front, and that one cleared aside by the Ravens. Jacobson again in the corner now. Plays that one behind the net for Piva. Mellis will chase it after it in the corner. Plays it back. Daniel just back down the wall. She ran out of time, down for Piva. Piva out in front. Shot there from Mellis as hits a leg, and now the Ravens will try to get it out. Ravens will skate it out to center. Nishi with speed. One-on-one -on -one against Diamond. Goes around to the right side. Plays it to the front of the net. Saved there by Jansen. And now the Rockets will try to clear. To the point. Stopped there by Jeske. She'll play it in. Back for it now, Lundy. Lundy stripped of the puck there in the corner. The Rockets try to clear. Puck goes, comes to Kay. She'll turn and fire that. And another kick save by J um, Jansen. Sorry. Back to the point. Jeske's shot, blocker to side. Lundy 
Trying, can't get it in the corner. Rockets reverse around to the near side. Looking for it, there's Jacobson. She'll skate it to the blue line and then chip it down the ice. And it's gonna slide and just enough and we'll get icing here with 16.30 to go in the second period. And the faceoff will come right back down into the Rockets zone. Changes here for the Ravens up front. Akazuki comes out with Hernandez and I think that's Lenahan along the wall. Puck will come to Lenahan. She'll pass that back to Sear. Sear will rip it around the boards. Waiting behind the net there was Akazuki. It looked like a bit of a set play there. Now the puck to the point, back into the corner. Sears played that one up the wall. The Ravens, though, keep it in. Sears plays it to the near side for Barrett. Barrett. Watch there by, again, three Ravens come to close that one off. Hernandez now looking for it against Cirrus. Played around for Coverly. She'll miss it as she took a peek to see if the defender was coming down, and she was, and she tries to hold it in. Now it's played back to the point. Sear, or Sear long shot, wide of the net. That rebound's going to come to the side, kick back behind the net, as Barrett did well there to keep that puck from coming out front. There's a shot from the side, tipped by Akazuki up high, and just went wide. Now Hernandez, long shot, wide once again. As the Ravens firing shots but not finding range right now. Zinnia Lynn down the wall looking for it. Cirrus, she'll skate it out the near side. Stops up, goes behind the net as she's watched by Lynn. Lynn now with it. Couldn't make a play though out front and she's tied up against the boards there by Cirrus. Humorous comes in to help, that puck squirts loose, goes to the far wall for Burns at the point. Burns' is shot, gets stopped. The Rockets chance to clear, fanned on that clearing attempt though, now they'll get a second chance and Coverly gets it out to center. Sear backing up with it, Adelie Sear plays that one forward, trying to find Nishi. She got a stick to it but couldn't stop it. And Sear is a rip it around the boards for Millership. In the feet there of Millership, dug out by Lynn. Now Humorous chips that one around, but Nishi back to cover, and she'll play it back for Sear. Sear, four check there, puck gets knocked off her stick, and the Rockets get a chance here. Jones, across in front of the net, finding it there was Millership. She'll turn, fire that one, misses the net, and Adelie Sear now with a chance to skate it out. Adelie Sear, the captain for the Ravens, down the wall, across in front, looking for Nishi. She'll find it in the corner, play it back out in front, and that puck goes up in the air and grabbed and snatched by Grace Jansen. As she has definitely been the busier of the two netminders so far through this one. 14-14 on the clock. Second period, still no score. There are no ties in semifinals. Someone will win this game. Someone's going to the gold medal. Someone's going to play for bronze. Puck comes around the wall, chipped out there by Jones. First to it though is Sear. Sorry, not Sear. That's Jeske back. Mellis can't find that one. Kay's gonna get it on the far wall. Circling with it there is Lundy. She'll make a nice play at center to get around Mellis. Kay will stay onside. Lundy shot up high, knocked down, played to the corner as Jansen had to be careful there as that shot was up high. Now a long shot in from the neutral zone, gets knocked down, and the Rockets now with a chance to get it out. Nice stretch pass there for Jacobson. Jacobson's shot, wide of the glove side, goes off the corner boards, Coverly with it. She'll play it back across in front. No one able to get a stick to it. And now the Ra Ravens up the wall below us here. They'll get it in over the blue line, is in with it is Lundy. Lundy, shot, K, her shot just goes wide is a good opportunity there as Kay not able to put the finish on that one, and now the Rockets will slide it into the Ravens zone. Back for it quickly, Broderick played that one through to center, chopping that one away, and now here is Lenahan. Lenahan, with a little move there, put Akazuki offside, and we're gonna get a whistle here and a face-off coming in the neutral zone. 12.56 to go here, second period. Second period action brought to you by Core Hockey. Core Hockey Development Skills and Development here in the West Kootenays by Dustin Corlock. Check it out at corehockey.ca and make sure you get proper training from a nationally certified skills coach here in the West Kootenays. 
Face-off win here by the Ravens. Sear tried to come across ice. Got a stick to it there. Was a Rockets player. Can't see. That was Redden, sorry. Got a stick on that one. And now in behind the Ravens zone for Sear. Adelie Sear, a little bit of speed. Puck just about got taken away from her there. She's going to let that one play forward now. And Lenahan with it. Lenahan dropped it for Sear. She tried to re-engage on the offense. But now she'll back away as Redden has it in her own zone. Redden comes for Barrett. Barrett plays it to the blue line. Not out. Kept in there by Hernandez. Hernandez in, in a pile of Rockets there trying to find that puck. And the Rockets will get it up to the wall and just bounces over the stick of Sears. She can't keep that one in. She'll go across ice now to Burns. Burns gets to the red line, dumps that one forward. And Daniel gets that one for Redden. Sear was going to try to intercept that, intercept that, but Redden did well to get it. Gets it to the blue line of the Ravens and now will dump it in, cross ice into the Zamboni corner. Back for it now is Burns. Her pass picked off in front. Jesse Humorous, her shot. Second attempt saved there by the Ravens netminder. Schuler on a great point break, point blank shot as Humorous was in tight. I'm not sure who got that second shot. Might have been Millership, but a close play there for the Ravens. Now they're back on offense. That shot, puck kicked out into the slot. Loose puck in the feet. Who can find it? Nishi does. Shot and a save there by Jansen. Humorous. She'll play it around the wall for Millership. Down from the point comes Ridgewell. She'll direct it to the roads to the front of the net, but the Rockets with a nice play out. Jones now one-on-one -on -one with Sanga. Jones goes wide. Sanga does well to push her to the outside. Back comes help for the Ravens. Lynn will play that one forward. Cirrus keeps that one in for a moment. Millership's going to find it there in the feet. Now she's got some room on the wing. Her shot, that one goes wide to the near corner. And now the Rockets trying to keep that one in. They can't. They're going to have to back up to center now. Quickly back up for Mellis. And she'll chip that one in and chase it into the corner. Out in front is Millership. Mellis around the net. Looks back, plays it back for Cirrus. Cirrus, D to D there. Two miles, miles shot off a stick and goes wide. Mellis, she'll try to make a play. Ravens trying to come back and get that puck. They will, hard off the glass and down the ice. And that will go for, yep, that's gonna slide for icing. With 10.24 to go here in the period and the Rockets with some good pressure right now. Finding ways to generate some offense. The coaches are happy about that. So's the crowd as they can recognize the Rockets finding a way to generate some offense. 19 to six are the shots on goal for the Ravens so far here at the halfway point of the game. Humorous wins that draw. Redden's going to put it into the corner. Humorous is not going to be able to get to it. Neither's David, and that puck comes back for Redden. Puck comes back. Sears is going to, no, she thought better of it. Good job, because she's going to have to chase now Is Akazuki coming down the wall. Akazuki pulls up in the corner. Back for David. Humorous on the late back check, able to poke that one away into the corner. Now it's in front. Back to the line. Long shot. That one hit uh, Lenahan up high. She'll find it on the wall, leaves it for Sear. Sear directs it to the net, and the Rockets able to get it out. Now Redden turned over there. And loose puck, who's got it? Humorous is gonna have it here at center. She's gonna take a long shot. That one's just gonna be kicked aside by Schuler. And Adelie Sear now with it. Goes D to D. That one jumps over the stick of David. And now the Rockets trying to capitalize. Puck's up in the air, bouncing around. Akazuki around one rocket, around another rocket, and she'll get it out to center. Skating on to it now is Hernandez. Hernandez shot, just kicked over into the corner easily there by Jansen. Humorous off the official trying to clear that one. And now to the front. Humorous gets a stick to it. Bit of a pick there by Piva is going to spring Humorous down the right wing. She's going to play that for Jacobson. Stays on side. Jacobson's shot. Glove there by Schuler easily as she saw that one and holds on. Schuler, one of the taller goaltenders here in the tournament. Able to see around the defenseman there and make that glove save. Diamond now at the point for the Rockets. Got to be careful. Quickly 
attacked there by, I think that was Lundy. Now in behind the net, down goes a Rocket player. Are we going to get our first Ravens penalty, it looks like? And a great opportunity here as the Rockets start to put pressure and an opportunity on the power play. As heading to the box here is Senga, number seven for the Ravens. As power play opportunity, number one here for the Rockets. So Rockets power play. Ravens were 0 for 1 on their power play in the first. And now this is the Rockets' first opportunity. They're going to get a chance to set it up here. Redden with it at the point. Picked off there nicely by Jeske as Miles was waiting for that. Now the Ravens will find it again at center. In with it is Sear. Quinn Sear's shot knocked down. Off the bench, Nishi, her shot gets stopped as well. Now she'll intercept that puck and put it towards the net, but hits a foot and comes to the near side and a chance for the Rockets to get it out. They'll turn it over though, Zinnia Lin. Zinnia Lin with the toe drag, in tight, Lin. Nice save there by Jansen as Zinnia Lin looking shorthanded. Now the Rockets on the power play, just clear it to center as they're under pressure here by the great forecheck of the Ravens. That puck played here for Coverly. On the backhand, she'll play that one in. Millership looking to get it, back for it is Lundy. She'll put it around the wall. The Rockets did well to leave that one as that would have been too many players on the ice as you could hear the yell coming from the bench. But Mellis didn't play it as she came on the ice. Let it come back to the player that was already on. So no too many players on the ice penalty. 35 seconds to go here in the power play. Off of the foot of Jones. Oh, Jones and Mellis almost have a big collision there at center. Just got out of the way. In quickly on the four check. Akazuki. She'll play it back to the point. Trying to get a shot there is Broderick. Now she'll get a second one. That one flutters towards the net. Jansen makes the save there as that puck kind of bounced around on its way to the net. And now the Rockets. Only 10 seconds left on the power play. And they're going to get that one forward. Jones gets a stick to that. It's going to be in behind the net. Hernandez first to it. Plays it around for Broderick. She'll try to play it up the wall. Penalty's over. 0 for 1 on the power play are the Rockets. Still with offensive zone pressure though. Mellis to Cirrus, down the wall. Now the Ravens play it back to the point. Cirrus will keep it in, play it there for Jones. She sees Mellis, Mellis, oh, that would have been a nice shooting opportunity there as that puck just went past Mellis's stick. Jacobson off the side of the net, now it goes in and around behind. Ravens just get to that puck, is Senga out of the box. She's gonna play it down, in front of the bench, just slows that down with the snow build up and that's not gonna be enough for icing. 6.06 to go here in the period, and we're still waiting for that first goal. Sorry, second period, and we're still waiting for that first goal. There's a body check. No penalty there. That kind of a weird one for me, but Ravens get away with one there. Rockets, though, with a chance. Off the wall, shot, and a nice save there on the initial one. Not sure if that went up into the netting or if the, yeah, the ref's going to signal that it tipped and went up into the netting as Schuler made the save there off the wall as it looked like Humorous that curled off the wall and put that one on. Sorry, make an adjustment to my little replay screen here so I can try to catch it, catch it a little sooner. It's a little too far away for me. Humorous on the draw here, the two number twos up against Lynn. Puck goes to the wall and the Ravens play it around the boards. Sear plays that one back. They'll try the other side. Nishi gets a stick to it, but kept in nicely there by Daniel. Ravens will try this side now. Sear chips that one out as Quinn Sear just played it forward. Speed of Nishi flying down the wing. Z Lin going to the front. There's the puck as it came off the goal stick there of Jansen and was there for a moment for Lynn, but not able to get a stick on it. Coverly through for Humorous. She's trying to slip through three Ravens as they all come back to shut down the leading scorer of the tournament in Humorous. 
Redden plays that one in from the right side of center, so no icing. Back forward is Adelie Sear. Her clearing attempt there was fanned on, but picked up nicely there by the Ravens. Off the foot there of Nishi. Now she'll find it, tried to play that one forward for Lynn. Rockets intercept and they hit it for a moment, but here comes Nishi again. Gets to the red line, puts that one in on Jansen. She'll go for a change, under five to go here, second period. It was a little slow to start, but it's flying by now as 4.32 to go here in the middle frame. Sanga gets there ahead of Jones. Leaves it for some help, now it's played forward. Out of the zone come the Ravens. Chip that one forward, was Lundy. They can't get to it in the zone, but now they will, but they're gonna come in offside as in ahead of the play was Kay on the original push up the ice before the Rockets had cleared it out. 4.15 to go. And a tight affair here. Rockets have come out a little more offensive Opportunities here in the second frame. Only two shots on goal in the first period and they're up to nine now. So definitely some offensive output here. They've kept the Ravens to just nine shots here in the middle frame so far, having allowed 13 in the first period. Now Humorous with Coverly and Redden. They'll win that draw, they'll get it back to the point. Cirrus down the wall, Coverly plays it around the boards, hoping Humorous could skate to it. Now it'll come to the corner, played out in front as Redden tried to make a play there to Coverly. And it's gonna be the Ravens, just able to skate it out to center. Akazuki now shoots that one, gloved by Jansen. She'll hold on to it with, I think that was Lenahan going to the front of the net, it is. Find these dark jerseys for some reason hard to pick up the arm numbers. Defensive zone win there into the corner by Humorous. Ravens quickly to it on the wraparound. That one came right across the blue paint as Akazuki again with that play coming off the wing going around the far side around the net. And a dangerous opportunity once again for the Ravens is pushed aside here by the Rockets. Now they have to try to find cover. Quickly to it, there is Akazuki. Out in front, Lenahan can't get a shot as she's run into by Redden. Puck comes back to the point. Sear with a lane, that shot gets, looked like it got hit something there, but when went up over the top of the net. Lundy shot, that one's taken away in front as there is Lenahan waiting there for a rebound. Now Akazuki again turns, tried to direct that one towards the front of the net and the Rockets' Miles will clear that one out. Ravens giving them no time. Back in is Nishi, in tight with a shot there. That wide to the glove side. Into the corner now, played up to the wall. And out. Jacobson couldn't settle it. Piva trying to skate onto it, but not able to get there. They're gonna go, if they're gonna call that on the offside, so Jacobson and Piva gonna have to clear, and the Ravens will be able to skate it out. Played that one forward, down the wall goes the Ravens, Nishi, right in the corner, plays that one out in front, Lundy, can't get the stick to it, and now the Rockets clear that down the ice, relieve the pressure, 2.15 to go here, 2.16, sorry, didn't tick over, 2.16 to go here in the middle frame. As even though it's early here in Castlegar, just after nine o'clock here, Parents and fans for both teams making lots of noise, brought all their horns. Kids were having a horn battle before the game. I'm sure they're all getting just as nervous as the players here with still no score here in this game. K in the corner, out in front, not off the blocker or pad there of Jansen, shot out to the slot, but Ravens not able to find it. The Rockets push it to the blue line, but the Ravens put it right back in. K in the corner, plays that one back. Finding that long shot there by Jeske as K found her coming out of the corner. One fifty-two to go now. Face off to the right of Jansen. Barrett on the backhand, rings that one around for Jones. 
Ravens come over, pin Jones against the wall, tie up that puck. It's going to squirt loose, though, into the corner, and Barrett again will find it. This time she'll go D to D, and they'll try the outlet pass. Almost picked off there, and now the Ravens will find it. Jeske can't reach it. David will fire that one towards the net and off a foot into the corner. Mellis turns away from the pressure, gets that one up the wall for Jones. She'll try to go hard off the wall. David will keep it in. Directs to the front. Kay with a tip there and a nice toe save by Jansen as Kay was able to get a stick on that, and that was labeled for the bottom right corner, or left corner, I guess, if you're looking at the net. Right corner if you're in the net. Humorous rolling puck off the dasher. Can't take it clean. And Akazuki now. She'll play that one quickly ahead for Lenahan. Lenahan to the right. Akazuki going to the front of the net. Nice job there by Diamond to push her to the outside. Not able to play that puck across in front for Akazuki going to the front of the net. Rockets get it to center. Under a minute to go here in the period. Back in, Hernandez, her shot just played to the corner by Jansen. Back out in front, tip there. Redden back to pick it up for a second. Lenahan's turn, fired, kicked out by Jansen as those pucks are finding their way through. Rockets again to the blue line, kept in by Lenahan. Now Diamond will leave it there for Humorous. She'll try to skate away here with 20 seconds left. But Lenahan steals that one, pushes it back towards the Rocket zone. Now they're just going to put that one down the ice. No icing on the call. Sanga back, goes behind the net with under 10 seconds to go. Just has to be careful here. Redden swinging the stick, looking for a turnover. Diamond can't keep it in. That's going to do it for the period as that puck came out. And the buzzer goes to end 40 minutes of play here at the Castle Garden District Complex and yet to see our first goal of the game as the Rockets and Ravens have battled through 40 minutes here, all knotted at zeros. Shots on goal at the end of the second period are gonna be 26 for the Ravens and the Rockets now at nine as they were able to generate some, but once again, the, uh, the Ravens, 13 shots in the first, 13 in the second, and they've had in the first period for sure had the uh, the run of play in the second period here. Rockets definitely came out with a bigger push, had some opportunities, had a power play opportunity, weren't able to convert on that. And now we're going to come back. We'll have a final 20 minutes or more here at the complex in semifinal action number one at the U15 Female Championships here live from Castlegar on the Around the Rink Network. We're going to take a quick intermission break. We'll be back in, as you can see on the clock, 14 ish minutes and we'll be back for the call of the third period.
All right, welcome back once again. Castle Garden District Community Complex, period number three, Richmond Ravens, Kelowna Rockets. And I'm not sure if it's coming through as loud on your end as it is in the arena, but these two fan, fan groups for these two teams are making a ton of noise here and making it loud in the complex for what should be a thrilling end to this one. We got 20 minutes or more coming up here in this period. There will be a victor, of course, semifinals. Someone's got to win. Someone's got to go to the gold medal. Someone's going to play for bronze. And we're underway. Let's find out who the hero will be here at the complex. Ravens start with dumping that one in and back for it is Cirrus. Stolen there by Akazuki. Now played forward there by Hernandez. Back to the point. Long wrister. Saved by Jansen. And she's going to hold on to that one to start things here as the Ravens right out of the gate put some pucks towards the net. Face off to the right of Jansen. Pucks down, comes back to the point. Settling it there quickly was Burns, but she couldn't put it on net, just put it into the corner. The Rockets play it back out through center. Burns will play that one across for Sear. Quickly over to try to seal that one off was Jones, but they will get it out. With a little help from Hernandez there. She'll put it down the ice, and that'll be a little too much. That'll be an icing call. And that puck scooped out of the corner, and local, local linesman Jackson Cordero will grab that puck, bring it all the way back down into the Raven zone here for a faceoff. His mom and dad, great followers of the Around the Rink Network, and Dad Nelson sitting up behind the net there watching his son run the lines here for a big game here in the U15 Championships. Just as big a deal for the officials, all the officials here this weekend to get an opportunity to ref a provincial championship and doing a great job so far. Ravens with the puck in their own end now. They'll play that one forward. Nishi, she's got to step on Dan, uh, Daniel. Tries to play that one forward around Barrett. She's not going to quite reach it to make a shot, but she's going to play it around. Shot there by Sear, and that one just went wide as Quinn Sear had a, shot, a good shooting opportunity there and just put that one into the corner. Quinn Sear will play that one back. A little too tough there for Ridgewell to handle, and that'll come out for Senga. Senga will just push that one forward. And now Daniel will play that one to Coverly. Coverly's going to dump it in. She's going to go for a change. In for it is Jacobson, though. She'll get there first in front of Ridgewell. But coming in for it, and just out of the outstretch arm there of Kay is that pass, and that will go too far. Kay was going to try to get there, and she was flying up the ice looking to take off with that puck, but not able to make that one happen. That puck will come all the way back again into the Raven zone. Faceoff will be to the left of Schuler. Humorous and Jeske on the draw. Ravens win it back. David will get it. She'll play that one up the wall. Just out of the reach there of Lundy, but it will get out to center. Lundy looked to, I think, take a high stick there. The Ravens are going to push that one. That should have been an icing call, I thought. Ref had his hand up. That shot off a of foot and goes wide. Now Lundy tips that one into the corner. Humorous. Right back into the pile, though. She's going to turn that one over and back behind the net. Go the Rockets. Diamond tried to find Humorous. Jacobson can't get it. Hernandez will turn and shoot. That gets hit off a stick and goes wide. Or I shouldn't say wide. It went to the near side wall where down the wall now goes David looking for it. She'll retreat back to the blue line. And now back at the point. Sear. Her shot gets tipped. Trying to find it there was Quinn Sear. Now she'll shoot. That one off the stick of Piva, and that one's up into the netting, and we'll get a whistle. So a few quick whistles here to start this period. Just about three minutes into the third period here. Not that we want to jinx ourselves, but uh, if anyone's wondering, in the event we get to the end of this and we still are tied, we'll instantly go to a 10 minute overtime, sudden death overtime, and the teams will not switch ends. If there's no goal, no goals in that overtime period, they will do the ice, and we will go 20 minute periods until we do get 
a victor. But let's see what happens as that puck now. Kay has it in the corner. Quickly out in front. And Jansen does well there. It's coming hard to the front of the net where the Ravens got to stick to it. But Jansen able to find it with the glove and no rebound to be found. Jeske on the draw here for the Ravens. Up against Mullis, or Mellis, sorry. She'll win it. Spins away as Kay blocked off her exit rope behind the net. She'll go out the far wall. She played that one forward. Senga didn't make a play on it, and it will go for icing. And the Ravens, once again, will get an offensive zone faceoff. And the theme continues as the Rockets still struggling to make clean outlet passes and able to get out of their zone, not, not by lack of effort, but by just sheer great defensive coverage here by the Ravens, shutting things down. They've done it all tournament long. Face off into the corner. Ravens onto it from behind the goal. Little Sear tried a little backhand pass to find Lynn there. Puck's gonna come towards the blue line and out. Cleverly now with a little bit of room to skate. Kind of overskated the puck though. She gets run into by Sear. Redden will find it. And she'll put it into the corner in behind Schuler. Now the Ravens push that one out to center. Barrett off the wall. Quinn Sear couldn't get that one. Now it'll go back into the Ravens' zone. Way up here is Nishi. Long stretch pass, finds Nishi, but she can't settle it. And the Rockets will get it out to center. Burns, that one off the foot of Lynn, and now back for Adelise Sear to chase after in her own corner. Watch there by Jones, in comes Millership. Neither can stop that one. It comes up the wall for Nishi. Nishi trying to get that one out. Now they'll get it to the blue line. Kept in by Daniel. Daniel just pushes that puck past the net. And Adelise here now. She'll play that one forward. Hits Quinn with it. And now Nishi. Nishi. Ooh, tried to put that one down. Hit the backup goaltender on the bench there. As uh, why not? The Rockets goaltenders have been under siege here. 28 shots for the Ravens already. And uh, we'll credit one for uh, one save for Abigail Harris on the bench here for the Rockets as that puck hit her as a clearing or dumping attempt uh, went over the boards. That one's off the wall and into the Ravens zone. They'll try to bounce it back out. And they will get it out, but Rockets are there in coverage. Diamond. Not sure what happened there. Everyone was yelling for something behind the play. But we're going to get a whistle. Is that on the offside, I guess? It will come to the neutral zone here. Hernandez for the Ravens. Up against Mellis there. That puck will be played to center. And now Akazuki. She'll play it not hard enough down the wall. Stopped there by Diamond. And she's forced quickly there into the corner by Hernandez. She'll go down. Puck comes back to the point. David keeps it in for a moment. Jacobson's trying to sneak past her. David did well to tie Jacobson up there, not allow her to take off. But Piva now following it up. Checked there by Hernandez. Puck comes to the wall. Mellis turns away from the pressure and goes back into the corner. Akazuki, though, with it now. Battling with Piva. Just out of the camera's view to our right. Now Mellis off the wall. Can't get any headway towards the front of the net. That one came out. They didn't touch it, so they'll back up. And now here comes Lenahan. Lenahan waiting for help. Ravens were changing. She'll just play that to the net. Now off the bench, in hard on it, is Jeske. She'll get there. She'll play it into the corner for Kay. Jeske back out in front. Kay can't find it. Now it does. Into the blue paint. Loose puck played to the corner. Makes its way back to the blue line. The Ravens will put it in behind the net. Send Kay in for it. On the other side is Lundy. They'll reverse it to the near side. Kay chips that one into the blue paint. Rockets player there did well as that was Miles settling that one right close to the goaltender and just cleared it out into the Ravens zone. Quick up for Kay. That one's intercepted. And again, another nice play by Miles as she jumps up and clears that one. Not going to be enough for icing here as Back forward are the Ravens. Senga can't stop that one. Coverly can't get it either. 
That one will bounce out over the line as Miles not able to keep that one in at the Ravens' blue line. Not sure if we caught that one. It was just, yep, just out of the corner view of the camera there below us. As we're right, literally right on top of the ice here, which makes the view from about, let's call it the side of the face-off circle at center to the penalty box. A pretty tight, uh, tight shot to try to get a camera on it, but my son here, Jackson's doing a great job this weekend, doing the best we can to get as much of the picture in the frame for you. Redden plays that one around the wall. Humorous. She'll chip that one nicely there. And out comes Cleverly. Cleverly met by a couple of Ravens at center. And they'll play it forward. Nishi. Nishi. Stolen by Cirrus. She'll play that forward. And another reach of Redden. Humorous can't get to it. First there is going to be uh, Zinnia Lin. Lin up for Nishi. Kept in this time by Miles. Her high shot. That one went by Sear. Hit the corner boards, came all the way around to the blue line. Ravens now. Nishi with speed uh, over the red line. Nishi in on Jones. Nishi to the center. Shot saved by Jansen and no rebound. As Nishi with great speed forced Jones to start backing up quickly. But Jones did well, kept her, kept herself centered in the ice, forcing Nishi to shoot. And Jansen able to see it and come up with a save and once again, has done a great job with rebound control. Hasn't been a lot of second chance opportunities here for the Ravens, even though they're out shooting the Rockets by a score of 30 to nine right now. Barrett now scrambled play off the draw. Rockets get at the point, kept in by David. She'll try to go down the wall. She'll get some help there by Jeske. She'll put it towards the front of the net. Daniel has it, she'll play it up for Millership. Millership right below us. She goes into the boards hard. Ref says no call. Puck goes in deep. David quickly up there for Lundy. Lundy plays that one forward for Jeske. She'll chip it in. Kay will chase after it. Kay's not going to get there. Millership tries to play that one out. Knocked down there by Lundy. She'll put it back into the corner. She'll head off for a change. Out comes the best rest of the next line. Down from the defensive position there. And a nice play by Ridgewell. But just Puck took a funny bounce on her. Akazuki. In for Hernandez. She's not able to get that puck settled in the high slot. Now backhanded by Lenahan, down into the corner. Daniel, sorry, yeah, Daniel played that one out. And now she'll jump up trying to steal that one, but they're in an offside position. Mellis will check up. Daniel will dump it in and back goes Senga for, for the Ravens. Hard on the four check, Jacobson. Piva joins them. So does Hernandez. Pucks up against the wall. Ref's gonna come over and take a look. And with about one, two, three, four, five players in the corner and the puck not moving, he's gonna whistle that one down. And we'll get a face off here to the right of Schuler. Be humorous against Hernandez here on the offensive zone draw here for the Rockets. Hernandez won it cleanly back and they'll rip it around the boards. Ravens chip it out and here's a race for the puck. Chasing after Lenahan, up against Barrett. She'll play it to the front, off the side of the pad there is Jansen in a nice covered position there. And as the Rockets touch it, we're gonna get another penalty coming here and it's going against the Rockets. It's gonna be body checking against, looks like number 11 and that's Daniel for body checking. So the best chance here to in the third period so far for the Ravens, power play opportunity with 11.01 to go in the period. Ravens now on the power play. Back for David. David takes a shot, looking for a tip there from Lynn. She can't get a stick onto it, but she'll find it behind the net. Lynn out front. Oh, that would have been close. David now, her long shot. Saved by Jansen. No rebound as Zinnia Lynn looking right down on top of Jansen, looking for that rebound to drop. But nothing happening there. 137 to go here in the power play. 1037 to go in the period. Ravens have Lynn Akazuki. 
Nishi, David, and Sear. Adelise Sear back at the point. Down for Akazuki. She's going to get caught from behind by Coverly. She's not able to get that puck and clear it, though. Down from the point comes David. She's going to seal that off. Akazuki into the corner for Lynn. Lynn plays it back for David. David to the front of the net. Tip there by Akazuki, but it goes into the corner. Lynn will find it. She'll turn away from the pressure. Leaves it there, Akazuki. Sharp angle shot, saved by Jansen. Comes out for David. She'll direct it towards the front of the net. That off a shin guard of Coverly and into the corner now, Lynn. Lynn tried to play that one back for David. She pinched down. It'll come out to center for Adelie Sear. She'll play it forward. Nishi tried to chip that one around and chase it in the corner, but stopped there at the blue line by Diamond. David's got some room down the wing. She's going to come in and rip one. That shot just goes wide. Out of the reach there of Nishi. Or sorry, that's Quinn Sear now. Stop nicely there at the point by Jeske. She plays that one forward. Hernandez gets a stick on it. Now she'll come out the near side. Turns around, around the wall, trying to find Sear at the blue line. 30 seconds to go on the power play. Sear down the wall, misses her sister Quinn. Now into the corner. Back out in front, touched there by Hernandez, and she got that one on goal. But a nice save once again by Jansen. 21 seconds to go on in the power play. Paige Daniel ready to jump out of the box, get back into the play here. 9.21 to go in the period. Still no score. Hernandez on the draw against Mellis. Ravens will win it back. Comes to uh, Sanga, her shot. Looking for a tip there from Hernandez, but that stayed high and right up into the crest for Jansen to grab and hold on to. A few seconds ticked off now, 14 to go on the power play. Again, Ravens win it back. Sanga, she'll take a look, now she'll fire. That one does get a tip, saved by Jansen as she had to react to that side of the net. She's got that one too. And a great scrambled save there by Jansen, keeping that puck out of the net. As this time the Ravens did get a sticker body to it and redirected that puck. Five seconds remaining in the power play. Changes up front. Lynn, Nishi, and Quinn Sear. Puck comes back for Sanga again. Now she'll shoot again, trying to get a tip. They got a stick on it, but it went into the corner off the glove, I think, of Jansen. Out of the box is Daniel. Power plays over. Puck's to the front of the net. And that loose puck's going to be scooped up there. Very humorous. She's going to try to play it forward. Redden's going to try to find it in front of the Ravens bench. She gets a stick to it. Gets it in to the zone. But quickly, Nishi plays it back out to center. Now Redden again. 8.40 to go. Back to even strength here. Still looking for the first goal of the game. Might only need one here this morning. Ravens around for Nishi. Can't take it clearly off the wall. Coverly. With a backhander, that one will go wide into the corner. Zinnia Lynn will skate onto it. Trying to play that one forward. The other number two, Humorous, keeps that one from getting out. Now it'll come out to this neutral zone. And Cirrus, she'll put it back in, send Jones to chase after it. Back for it's Broderick. Broderick, under pressure, just played that one out through the defense and into the neutral zone where Cirrus will try to play it in again. Senga. Got to be careful there. Don't want to leave, lose that in the high slot. She'll push it towards the wall. Pucks in the corner. Lynn playing it out up the wall. Now Mellis for the Rockets. Puts it in on the corner. Millership will look for it. Millership circles out of the corner. Takes a look back to the point. Now she'll circle the high slot. Takes a bit of a high stick there, but keeps going. Millership shooting. That one hit the crowd in front. Pucks in behind the net. Millership still with it now. Trying to push it out for Mellis. In comes Senga, and she's going to try to bury it, but that's not going to work as Millership's going to dig it out, and they'll get it out again. Mellis now with some room coming out the near side. Back for Cirrus. She'll find it, play it back for Mellis, but Nishi able to get just enough of a stick on it there to slow that down, and now she'll chip it out to center as the Ravens will try to get this one out and deep, but that's going to be called on the offside on the back in, in uh, as that one went in, and Mellis touches it up for the offside. 7.08 to go here in the period. Neutral zone face off. Hernandez. Humorous.
Rockets win that one. Pivot tries to jump through. Jacobson trying to get a, a or sorry, yeah, Jacobson trying to get a stick to it, and she can't. Here comes Sear, the captain for the Ravens down the wing. Plays it in front for Akazuki. That one's behind her, and back comes Humorous the other way. Kato back hard on the back check. 22 and 2 going at it along the wall. Now Sear. Watch there by Humorous. She'll get it up for Kay. She'll get it as far as the point. Daniel shot. Stop there. And away comes Hernandez. Hernandez with speed in alone now. Hernandez in shot Jansen. Saved by Z Jansen, sorry. As she went to her left. Shut that down. Players in behind the net. As the puck comes up ice. Here comes Daniel. Rockets now with a chance. She'll get pushed off into the wall there nicely. That puck shot around the boards. It's going to be kept in by Daniel, though. Long wrister, knocked down, bouncing puck. Rebounds there, close. Where is it? No goal, it's knocked out. Penalty coming up. Not sure who to, who it's to, but a puck was loose there as that puck went through the crowd. We're going to get a cross-checking call. And it looks like it's the Ravens' turn now to go to the penalty kill. Is heading to the box. Here's the captain, 14. And it is going to be a cross-checking call here to number 14 for the Ravens. And a huge opportunity now for the Rockets. Rockets power play opportunity here, 5.50 to go in the period. Pucks all the way back into the Ravens zone, in for it, or looking for it there, sorry, is David. She'll play it now into the corner, still has it, tries to go hard off the wall. Humorous didn't allow it, but picking up that one was Lynn. She'll put it down, Lynn and Nishi will change. Out come Quinn Sear and Jeske. Here's Humorous for the Rockets. I expect her to maybe play the whole power play. Here she comes in. That shot off the foot of Sanga goes into the corner. First to it's Coverly. Coverly. All three Rockets in the corner. Nobody out in front. And here come the Ravens. A potential two on one. Down the wing. That shot. Jansen's got it. She's going to hold on to it. As down the wing went Quinn Sear. She had Jeske going to the front, but just slid that one on net for an easy save here for Jansen. Exactly five minutes left to go in the period and 58 seconds left on the Rockets power play here. Hernandez on the draw. Short-handed here for the Ravens up against Mellis. That puck will come back, shot, saved by Jansen and she had to pick that one up through a crowd. Jacobson gets a stick to it. We'll get it past Senga. But back in her up was Broderick. And now Cirrus. She'll play that one across. And now up. Jones gets that one in. Now she'll chase the other number seven. Is that Senga? Off the wall to the blue line. Kept in by Cirrus. Made one little move there trying to get it back in. But it's going to be knocked out. Under 30 seconds to go on the power play. Barrett to Mellis. Forward for Jacobson, was behind her. That will slide the length of the ice. Senga will find it. She's going to wind and fire, try to go hard off the glass and out. And Sirius can't knock it down. Ten seconds to go in the power play and a great penalty kill here late in the game for the Ravens. Barrett up the wall for Mellis. Chipped away from her by Nishi. Back in, they're on the offside. They'll touch up. And Nishi and Lynn now joined there by Sear. She'll come out. The captain steals it away. Sear in tight, shot, save Jansen. It's out of the penalty box and instantly into the offense was Adelise Sear, and she gets a chance off the left wing wall. And Jansen with the save, and again, no rebound. 40 shots on goal now for the Ravens, just 10 for the Rockets. And the story has been all the work by Grace Jansen. Not just making the saves, but there's been very, very few rebounds that have been loose for anyone to get. Now that puck played in around the net. Diamond will look for it in the Zamboni corner. Pressured there by Sear. Now Nishi turns and fires it wide. Into the near corner. Lynn looking for it. That's going to go up the glass. It's going to stay in play, though. Rockets are going to get a stick to it and get it out to center. 
Coverly back towards the blue line and in for it now. Zinnia Lee stripped of the puck there by Humorous, but she can't get around Nishi. And that puck will go back for Senga. Senga around the wall. Now Sear. She'll skate it out the right, right wing. Push that one past the defender. Now she's in a foot race. Not going to get there first. And Redden's going to find it for the Rockets. Chipped away from her is Nishi with some good stick work there. Almost stole it. And Hernandez hit the official with that as she tried to dump it in. Now here's Senga. Little room on the left wing. She'll skate it in. Dump it into the corner. Retreat to her defensive position. And Akazuki chasing after it in the far corner. Can't get there in time. Miller ship at the blue line. She'll clear it. Humorous to her right. I don't know if I've seen Humorous go off in the last five minutes as she continues to be out there. Now that one pop, popped up in the air. Miller should put it in the corner. Humorous on the back and out in front. Not sure if Schumer, or, uh, Schumer had to make, Schuler had to make a save there or not as that puck came to the front of the net. There's a loose stick in behind the net. It's going to cause some trouble. Now it gets picked up. Miles, shot, knocked down there by Senga, goes wide. She'll bury it up against the wall there. Senga, or sorry, Humorous kicking at it, trying to get it loose. And with those kicking actions there, the official's not going to let that go for too long. He's going to whistle that one down. And we'll get a draw now in the Raven zone. 2.14 to go in the period. Still no score. Just a reminder, no goal scored at the end of this period. We will not take a break. We'll instantly switch over to a 10-minute sudden death overtime period. If there's no goals in that one, we will then have a intermission and we will have a full 20 minute period after that. And we'll keep going like that until somebody scores. But we'll see if we need it. Here come the Ravens. Lynn and Nishi over the blue line. Lynn shot off a leg and into the corner. Plays it back. Nishi shot. Looking for a tip there by Sear. She can't get a piece of it. Redden to it. She'll chop it out with under two to go here. David turning back for the Ravens. She'll come down the right wing. Slides that one towards the net. Miles will get it for the Rockets and play it around. Takes a funny bounce off a of stanchion. Mellis, though, there to clear it away for the Rockets. Back to the point. Sear, long wrister wide in the net. Picking that one up now. Searis gets it to the blue line. Nod out. Nishi off of Lynn. That one stays in, though. And now Coverly with a chance to clear, and she will. She'll chip that one past David, but back for it is Adelise Sear. She'll take a look. Play that one for Lynn. A little too close to the feet there. Not able to take that pass. And Searis now down the wall. Ravens push it back out to center. Now Sears will just put that one in on Schuler. She'll leave it there for Adelie Sear. Around the boards, Humorous, Middleship, under a minute to go. Third period, still no score. Here comes Nishi. Nishi, chased there by Humorous. She's gonna go wide around Sears. And that, just enough, we're gonna get a late penalty here. St arm goes up as Sears is gonna be called for, I assume, tripping. As down went Nishi as she tried to go around the outside. Ravens trying to get the extra attacker out. Goaltender to the bench. Here's Nishi. Shot, save Jansen. Rebounds there. Now they'll touch it up. And the penalty coming to Cirrus. And it will be a hooking call late in the game here. 32.9 seconds left. And the Rockets heading to the uh, penalty kill. As heading to the box is number 14 for hooking. Late power play opportunity here. And we're going to get a timeout. I'm going to make the call here. Be right back. So I'm not quite sure which team took the timeout there. But someone wanted to talk it over. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the Ravens. They've been using their timeouts every game. Sometimes in odd situations from my point of view, but it seemed to work. They're here in the semifinal. They're all knotted up. Need one goal here at this point for a chance to go to the gold medal game. See coaches talking with all the players. Another coach having a conversation with, with uh, Schuler. The other side, the Rockets, their meeting's over. Penalty kill here for them. Jansen finds her way back to the crease. 32.9, next goal wins. Power play for the Ravens. Nishi, Lynn, Akazuki, 
David and Sear for the Ravens on the power play. They'll win that draw. Kind of confusion there. Sear's going to try to keep it in. She will. She'll play it across the blue line. David. David shot looking for a tip. Pucks loose in the top of the crease. Trying to get a stick to it, and the Ravens can't push it to the net. Rockets keep it to the outside, and a clear there by Coverly, and a very important one. 15 seconds to go. Not sure if the Ravens will get a chance to get it all the way back up the ice, but Adelise here is going to try. She'll play that one forward for Nishi. Nishi with four seconds to go, shoots from the blue line. Jansen, save. That one kind of rode up the stick and into the corner, and that's going to do it for the third period. We're going to head to overtime, 10-minute overtime here for the first semifinal game. Coaches will get a few moments here to chat it over, but they will not leave the ice. There will not be an intermission. We will go right to... We will go right to an overtime session here. They're going to take a few minutes. I'm just going to cut away for a second. Right, so it looks like we're about a minute 30 away from the start here as the officials having their conversations. Basically what's going to happen here is they'll get a minute 30 break. They're going to stay, or they should stay, according to the hockey or BC Hockey uh, rep that I talked to in the uh, room prior to the game, is that they should stay in the, uh, the zone, the ends they're in currently. It should, no, should not be a change, so they won't have the long ice change. And it'll be a 10 minute period. If we don't have a goal scorer, we will go for an intermission and back for another 20 minute period. Penalty has been counting down. They will put up the extra time here as the Ravens will start the overtime period on the power play. And it will stay uh, five on four as we would play five on five overtime as the crowd gets loud in anticipation 30 seconds to go and we're going to have overtime action for the first time here in this u15 female championship what a way to finish off the first semi-final of the morning we still have another one of these yet to go There goes the buzzer. We'll get some time put up on the clock. We'll get a penalty put back up on the clock as Cirrus sits to our left in the penalty box. Hoping to get the opportunity to get back onto the ice here. As she'll look and cheer on her Rockets team to kill off what's a minute, looks like they've put a minute 28 left on the power play. Officials are ready, they've got it sorted. Humorous and Lynn on the draw, the two number twos. And we're set to go here for overtime. Pucks down, Rockets win it, back for Barrett. She's gonna turn, you expect to fire that one down, but nope, she's gonna play that one through for Humorous. Humorous, toe drag, tries to play that one through, gets it on the other side, her shot wide, Redden couldn't get a stick to it. Puck comes to the half wall here, Lynn pushes it towards the blue line. Daniel keeps it in, but now Lynn chips that one out. David following up will pick it up. David to the blue line. Into the corner, takes a look back. Nobody there. Knocked off her stick, and the Rockets are going to clear it now. Minute to go in the power play with Adelie Sear heading back into their own zone to pick it up. Sear, hard pass up here for Akazuki. Akazuki's all by herself down the wing. Miller ship hard back on the back check. Now she'll leave it for David. Long shot, wide of the glove. Nishi. Plays that back to the corner for Lynn. Diamond ties her up, trying to kill that clock. 35 seconds to go on the power play. Puck squirts loose. Nishi out the short side, out in front. Nishi shot saved there off the blocker by Jansen. 
will continue. Puck up, touch there by Jones. Still penalty killing though, so no icing regardless. Adelie Sear back for it, into the near corner for David. Watch there by Millership. David though, gets the puck out, now she'll skate out. Away comes Nishi, across for Quinn Sear. She can't settle it, Diamond will, and she'll put it down the ice. Adelie Sear, D to D to David, David. Gets the blue line, penalty's over. Ciro's back onto the ice, shot off a foot. R uh, Rocket's able to find it, clear it to the wall. Around the boards it goes into the far corner. Quinn Sear looking for it. Coverly will get there first. Now an opportunity here, out of the corner, shot and a save, or sorry, not a save, but a block there. As out of the corner came, um, sorry, Lundy. Now Lundy, short side shot, that one goes wide. Quinn Sear back for Senga. Loads, fires, long shot, hits a leg, comes to the near side wall. Lundy plays that one back. Long shot, knocked down. Again, puck still loose there. Rebound and a nice save by Jansen as she flashed that right leg out. Puck gets cleared to center. Ravens dump it right back in. Rockets play that one up for Coverly. She gets a stick, no ice on this one. We are even strength, 7.38 to go in the overtime period. Puck comes around, kept in by Jones. Jones puts it back into the corner. Redden can't slow it down. Over to the far side, Jeske will find it. She'll play that one for Nishi. She'll just tap it out to center and Daniel now. Daniel dumps that one in. In behind the net of Schuler. Back for it, Senga. She'll reverse that into the corner. Jeske up the wall for Lenahan. Lenahan loses it there. And Humorous out of the corner, can't get that one onto the stick of Redden. Up the wall, Jones gets past her and out to center now. Barrett dumps that one right back in out of the stretched arms there of Humorous. Now Lenahan. She didn't get the red line. No icing though. In on it is Lynn. Zinnia Lynn can't get to it. Millership will find it on the near wall. Millership plays that one through center. Just gives that one away. Adelie Sear though, a little too tough on the touch there. And Jones fans on it. An opportunity for the Ravens to jump on it. Here comes Lynn. Trying to find Akazuki. Akazuki in the corner. She'll get some help now. Puck will go back farther into the corner. Barrett can't find it. Daniel comes in, she'll rip it around the boards. David comes down, Millership can't get that past her. And the Rockets hemmed into the wall here. Barrett hard off the wall. Millership does enough to get that one out. And now Lynn back for Sear and back for Lynn. Lynn over the blue line now. She'll shoot that one high up over the top of the net. David chips it back into the corner for Lynn. Lynn goes back against the traffic there. She'll chip that one out in front, knocked down by Daniel. In front of the Zamboni door, plays it back. Sear, she'll keep it in and rips it around. And now Kay onto the ice will find it in the corner. Kay chips that one to the front, pucks loose. Jansen's got it as she sealed off the corner or the post there. And once again, we'll hold on to it for a draw. 5.39 to go here. Shots on goal now, 43 for the Ravens, 12 for the Rockets. Ravens coaching staff asking for some clarification or something there from the official, but we're all set to go. Mellis wins that one straight back. Miles tries to go around the wall. Coverly's there to try to keep it from going back to the point here. She can't move it though, Kay will. Sharp angle shot off of Jansen. That was a sharp shot there as Kay ripped one on from a weird angle. Coverly over the red line, chips that one in. Sanga will go back for it. Sanga around the wall for Nishi. Nishi looks up, she's gonna skate. She gets to center and dumps it in. Off the official, pucks loose there. Picking it up, Hernandez. Down for Kay. Kay, wrap it around attempt. Sealed off there by Jansen, and now Mellis will come around and put it off the wall. Comes back for Senga. Senga's shot, hits the stick of Coverly. Mellis bounces over her stick. And now Coverly with another chance to clear it. She will get it out. That one's behind Redden. Redden's gonna try to get there, but Sears gonna race her to the puck. Those two will get tied up. Nishi will come in and pick it up. Under five to go here. Senga almost lost that one to Redden, but still has it now at center. 
She'll come over the blue line, chase it into the corner. Cirrus back for it. Humorous battling in the corner there. It's just going to tie that one up. Cirrus gets it. She rips it around the wall. And here it comes out the other side for Millership. Millership trying to streak away down the wing. No penalty call there. Not a lot of unhappy fans on that one. I didn't quite see it again just below us. And now here's Akazuki. Akazuki, one on two. Her shot off a foot into the corner. She'll chase it down and chop it behind the goal for Diamond now. The Rockets will settle it down. Play that one forward, Millership. Over in front of the bench. Off the bench there is Lundy. And now it gets played back into the Raven zone for Burns. Burns plays that one forward. Lenahan just put it across the neutral zone where Coverly now will put it in and David will have to go back for it. David skating out of her own zone now. Redden will meet her at the red line. David's just going to chip that one in. Got it as far as the blue line, but no farther. Lynn. Now David on the backhand again. Not very deep. And an opportunity here for the Rockets to clear it out. Daniel up to Mellis. She'll chip it around and chase after it in the corner. To the blue line. Kept in there by Daniel. Now second attempt. Still kept in, and now trying to skate away below us here. Chipping that one forward was Lundy. Back for it now are the Rockets and Redden. Redden will skate it in herself, put that towards the net, it'll go wide. Mellis, she'll get there and put it in behind the net. Changes happening here, 2.40 to go. Barrett, shot, hits a couple of legs and sticks, and that one is found by the Ravens. Nishi will chip it out. Off the bench there, Humorous back onto the ice. Can't make a play in Nishi. Nishi's shot hits the foot of Barrett. She almost got the rebound. And kept in there at the blue line by Broderick. In deep. Cirrus turns away from traffic. Puts it into the Zamboni corner for Barrett. She'll come right back towards the traffic. And now Nishi chips that one around the defender. Nishi at the side of the net. Hits a foot, and now the Rockets try to go up the wall for Coverly. Two minutes to go in the overtime period. Millership trying to jump around Sears. She's going to get to it. She's going to go down, and Sears going to go to the box. And we're going to get a power play opportunity now for the Rockets in overtime. As heading back to the penalty box is number 14, this time for tripping. And a power play opportunity for the Rockets here and a chance to win it with 2.51 to go in the first overtime period. Now it looks like the Rockets are going to call a timeout, so it had to have been the Ravens earlier. So Kelowna burns their timeout now here with 1.51 to go in the, uh, in, the power, in the overtime period. Again, we just did a 10-minute one here. If we don't get a goal in the next 50, one, minute 51, we'll do a nice clean and we'll come back and fire it up again. But shots on goal 43-12 to 12 here for the Ravens. And you would say almost against the flow of play, the Rockets with an opportunity to win it in overtime. We'll see who they send out to try to finish this one off. It's Millership. Humorous, of course, is going to be out there. Coverly, those will be the forwards. Redden, who's normally a forward, is going to play. It looks like it's going to come back and play the point. And Miles is out there as well. It's Lynn on the draw for the Ravens and an important draw here. Humorous, though, will win it. Back for, back for uh, Redden. And Nishi almost jumped through and stole that. And now Miles, she'll jump that in and the power play will have to chase after it. Senga will get there first. She'll play it around the wall, but not enough. Humorous will stop it. She'll slowly look towards the front of the net. Now leave it for Coverly. Humorous will get lost now around the back of the net. Comes out front. Coverly tries to feed it out in front. No one able to find that and Zinia Lin. Finds it on the wall, sure, backhand, gets stopped at the point. Long wrister, nobody wanted to put a stick in front of that. And it'll go off the corner boards and back for Redden. 
Redden shot, that one wide, out the near side. Luke Miles will step down on it. Rockets get it to the front and just out of the reach there of Humorous and a nice clear there by Lynn as she'll get enough, put it down the ice. Under a minute to go in this first or overtime period. The Rockets will finish the period on the power play unless somebody scores. Cubberly just chips that one in. Millership chasing after it. Back for it's David. She'll play it around for Senga. She can't get to it. Humorous trying to keep it in. Akazuki couldn't get it out. It's into the corner for Millership. Millership watched there by David. She'll go into the corner now back to the point. That one came out and it is going to be called on the offside. Is Jackson Cordero right on top of it there in front of the Ravens bench. Saw that one come out and back in. So with 24.4 seconds left in the, in the period, the faceoff will come into the neutral zone here, making things a little more difficult for this power play. Last player out onto the ice, late there for the, Rock for the Rockets. Ravens are gonna push that down the ice, back for it now, Cirrus. They got 20 seconds left here on the, in the period to try to make something happen. Almost lost that one behind, stolen by Akazuka. In tight, on the back end, scores! Overtime winner! Trying to see who it was. It looks like it's Quinn Sear, 16, as she gets that puck on the turnover and beats Jansen shorthanded with 10.8 seconds left in the overtime period. What a way to win for the Ravens and what a way to lose for the Rockets. Adulation at one end, heartbreak at the other as the Ravens have punched their ticket to the gold medal game on a shorthanded goal in overtime with just 10.8 seconds left. Heartbreak for the Rockets at the other end. They still have another game to play today. They will play for a bronze medal. But what a way to finish this one. And that's only game one today, folks. We have three more to go. Semi-final number one comes to a conclusion in overtime as the Richmond Ravens will head to the gold medal game. And I think now we've got the final call here for the goal. We're going to get it. Hey. So it's Quinn Sear with the overtime winner and the assist going to Sierra Akazuki on the turnover. I really wish we had the ability to flip to a replay because it was a great uh, uh, four check there by the Ravens forcing that, over, that turnover. They could have just sat back with 10 seconds left and allowed the clock to run down into overtime. But we will see the Ravens back later this evening in the gold medal game at eight o'clock. Who they'll play, we don't know yet, but we're going to find out next as 11 o'clock puck drop has the North, I want to say, say Northwest, but it's the Northeast Predators, I believe. But it is the Predators taking on the Surrey Falcons for a chance to face the Ravens in that gold medal game. For the Rockets, they'll get set for the, the um, bronze medal game. That will be on at 5 o'clock. We'll have that as well. And they'll wait to see who they play. But what a finish to game number one here at the Castlegar and District Community Complex. A 1-0 final in overtime. The Richmond Ravens defeat the Kelowna Rockets and they will head to the U15 Female Championship gold medal game later this evening. Thank you so much for joining us. That was a great finish to what was a great game. And we have more coming just 
what, 45 minutes away as we'll get set for semifinal number two. You've been watching U15 Female Championship Hockey here from Castlegar on the Around the Rink Network. We will be back for the call of the second semifinal in about 45 minutes. We'll fire up another stream. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following. We're not done yet. That was just game one. And it's still early in the morning. Go grab some coffee. We're in for a long one today and a great one. We'll talk to you real soon.